You guys are watching The Cam Rogers Show, and I am Cam Rogers. Hit me up on Twitter, at MrRogers99. With 10 minutes left of the program, let's break down the latest surrounding the Urban Meyer investigation. Of course, he is on paid administrative leave. Boy, this soap opera is something else. It brings us to Tom Herman, the head coach of the Texas Longhorns. So how about this? A man by the name of Jeff Snook reported on Facebook that sources told him Texas head coach and former Ohio State offensive coordinator Tom Herman was the one who tipped off Brett McMurphy on the Zach Smith situation. Now, excuse me as I take a sip of water here, but... <clears throat> Snook added that Tom's wife, Michelle Herman, encouraged Courtney Smith to go public with her claims that her ex-husband had physically abused her. So the Hermans apparently even pay, uh, helped pay for Courtney Smith's legal fees, according to this Facebook report. Facebook is now the land of breaking news, by the way. Michelle Herman answered Snook and said, quote, This is BS. We had no reason good enough to do that to Shelly or Urban. Okay. So that's report number one. Herman may have tipped off Brett McMurphy on this whole Zach Smith situation. So after that, the Austin American Statesman reported Herman denied he was McMurphy's source. So here is what Herman told the Austin American Statesman. Quote, it is absolutely untrue. Neither I nor anybody in my family has ever communicated with Brett McMurphy about the situation at Ohio State. And we'll get to that next player card here about, it, about this. Herman did confirm that his wife, Michelle, had given money in March 2017 to Courtney. And apparently it was just, you know, monetary assistance here. Okay. So... You just heard me talk about how, Brett, how apparently Brett McMurphy was tipped off by Tom Herman. Now Tom Herman goes public and says it is absolutely untrue. Brett McMurphy took to Twitter. Here he is giving his side of the story. For those who have asked for my response to Jeff Snook's claim Saturday, I have never revealed my sources in my nearly four decade journalistic career. And I am not going to start now. However, I will say unequivocally that Tom Herman was not my source. Okay. Welcome to peak rumor season here on the latest surrounding Urban Meyer and Ohio State. What a crapshoot. And now, Tina Carano, the mother of Courtney Smith, recently went against her own daughter's claims, as you see on your screen. In a report by Snook, Carano was quoted as saying she did not believe Zach Smith had abused Courtney and backed up further claims made by Zach's mother, Lynn Bruce, that Courtney Smith had vowed to take down Urban Meyer as part of revenge for Zach Smith's infidelity. You got all that? So Brett McMurphy, by the way, citing text messages and photos from Courtney Smith published another report to Facebook on Saturday contradicting that report that I just talked about, showing what were reportedly conversations between Carano and Zach Smith about his abuse of Courtney. Here are the texts. And then Tina commented on McMurphy's post saying, quote, where's the proof these texts are actually from me? Oh, my God. What is happening right now? I mean, this is a total mess. So quickly, to recap, in that Snook report, Carano was quoted as saying she did not believe Zach Smith had abused Courtney. Then Brett McMurphy shows these text messages, apparently conversations between Carano and Zach Smith about Courtney Smith. And then Carano then comments on that Facebook post, well, where's the proof that these are actually from me? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being a crapshoot, 
How big of a mess is this Urban Meyer scandal? Let me know in comments. Type away. One through ten. One being, oh my god, this is totally fine. This is totally by the book. Ten being, it's an absolute mess. Like, just no organization whatsoever in, in terms of this reporting. Let me know in comments. want to hear from you guys more on this Urban Meyer investigation. But first, you are watching the Cam Rogers Show presented by Autolist. Head on to Autolist.com to get that car shopping done in a flash or download their top-rated mobile app for iPhone or Android today. Okay, so as for Zach Smith himself, the Columbus Dispatch reported Zach Smith saying he expects to be interviewed by the OSU investigative committee comprised of former attorney generals and OSU trustees. The committee, of course, sorting through the details while Meyer remains on paid administrative leave. How about this? Uh, Smith's attorney also said that Zach will request to be reinstated as the wide receivers coach at Ohio State, saying, quote, I think it's unrealistic, but I know Zach feels as though he's deserving of having his job back. Zach, let me just tell you this, but man, that ain't gonna happen. I mean, yeah, there was a rally of some, what, 100 people of OSU fans chanting their support for Urban Meyer and all that, but that was for Urban, not for you. So I don't see any petitions out there trying to get you reinstated as a wide receivers coach for OSU. Now, could it happen? Sure, but even Smith's own lawyer said it's unrealistic. Should Zach Smith be reinstated? Let me know in comments. Type away. Type one for yes, two for no. If I had to guess, by the way, when we get some sort of resolution in regards to this Urban Meyer investigation, I think it happens this week. I think we get the news sometime this week, whether it's tomorrow or Friday or maybe even Saturday. My projection actually is Friday. I would suspect it's some sort of Friday end of the week news dump. But this situation is getting messier and messier when you're having contradicting reports from this guy, Jeff Snook, and Brett McMurphy, and you have Tina Carano contradicting herself about where she stands on all of this. It's just an absolute crapshoot. So Zach Smith will get interviewed by OSU and that investigative committee, and I bet by the time that interview is completed, I would assume the committee will have some sort of solution slash decision uh, a couple days after, so keep that in mind there. All right, I'll have more on the Urban Meyer investigation in the coming episodes of the Cam Rogers Show, so don't you worry about that. Hey, I want to give a shout out to our friends at Mizzen and Maine wearing one of these comfortable as F shirts on the program today. Sweat wicking technology, no ironing needed, no dry cleaning needed. We love them, you will too. The website, comfortable.af, that is the way to go to buy these really unique shirts. So get it done today. Phil Mickelson, big fan of them as well. I'm sure you've seen his commercial. All right, folks, wrapping up the Cam Rogers Show here today. I'll see you back here at 10 o'clock Eastern time on Wednesday. If you missed any of the show, don't you worry. We are replaying it for you, so keep it right here. See ya.